Hey, we all have insecurities. Some are better at dealing with them and the other hiding them. It's okay as long as they don't interfere our relationships and you are in complete control. But when you're not, insecurities can push you into overthinking. And that creates stories in your head. And these stories can kill your relationships. Confusing? Hey there, my name is Aparna. I'm a coach. Every week I bring to you tips, tricks, tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life. And if this interests you, do consider subscribing, subscribing to my YouTube channel and following me on various social media handles that are flashing on the screen and also are given in the description below. And hey, thank you so very much if you're doing that already. In continuation with the relationship with other series, today I want to focus on insecurities. And I want to start with this quote from Steve Maboli. He said, Relationships fail when people take their own insecurities and project them as their partner's flaws. So if you're excessively critical about your partner or your partner is of you, then you may want to check where that is coming from. And if they are from your insecurities, then today I will share with you four tips on how to deal with them. But before that, how do you know if you're insecure? Take a moment and answer the questions I'm about to ask you, honestly to yourself. Do you truly trust your partner? Do you feel jealous if they do things which do not involve you? Do you need a constant reassurance that you are their priority? I hope you answered that. And if you've answered yes and followed it up with a but, then definitely there's a tinge of insecurity in that relationship. I'm not trying to judge you saying this is right or wrong. I'm simply asking you to check whether you have insecurity within you or not. And if you use the word but, then definitely you're bringing that into the relationship. So how can you deal with this insecurity? I have four tips for you. Are you insecure because of something that your partner said or did? Is there a history of broken trust? Or is it because someone else said or did something that has no connection to your partner? In which case, the root cause here is you making unreasonable comparisons. In any case, remember, awareness is the first step to change. So once you understand what the root cause is, you can work on fixing it. Most insecurities come up from our own self-esteem, our self-image. When you're secure in your own skin, about your work, your life, etc., then you will bring that security into your relationships as well. Insecurities grow with overthinking. When we build stories about a partner and keep on repeating them in our head, we tend to believe that they are true. Irony is that we believe these stories much more than what our partner says or does. Therefore, it is crucial that you tame your mind from all those stories from overthinking. Your partner needs to know what you're going through. They would appreciate and be more supportive of you when they know what you're working on. If insecurities can kill relationships, open, honest communication tends to mend. So start talking. So there you go. Those are the four tips I have for you. Remember, it is natural to be insecure as long as you recognize and learn to deal with it. Unhealthy and excessive levels of insecurities can lead to cognitive distortion. And that is a mental health condition. So watch out. That's it from me. What do you think of this video? Do let me know in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. Thank you so very much for watching. If you like this video, do hit a like button and share it with your friends. And I'll see you next week. Until then, take good care of yourself. Bye.